Looking for a bigger, better gatehouse with better defensive towers? This could be the tutorial for you. To build this, you need to start with the basic tower and gatehouse from my defensive towers and walls and gatehouse and gates tutorials. Links are in the description. The tutorials show you how to make this. Today we're going to transform this into this. In order to work our transformation, there's a number of things we first have to do, like get rid of the walls. And on top of each tower, take out the torches, cobble wall spikes, slabs, and slab floor. On the front of the gatehouse, remove all of this and replace it with one row of stone brick block. At the gateway here, remove this line of cobblestone wall and any blocks that are above it. At the top, take out the row of stones and murder holes on the front side of the grate. And take out any blocks in between this and the edge there. Along the back of the top of the gatehouse, come in one from the back and one from the edge and take out the entire row. Let's start by making the towers taller. Take out the dark oak slab floor. Around the edges run a ring of stone brick blocks. Top it with another ring. Now put in a dark oak top half slab floor one block down so you can see just like that and leave space for your ladder. Trap door and ladder. Now on the corners a cobblestone block. Now all four sides, two stone brick blocks either side and three right way up the stairs in the middle. We will be making access to the walls when we build them. We'll worry about that at the time. Now inside that, a row of cobblestone blocks. And let's build our corners. Stone brick blocks. Top half cobblestone slab. Two cobblestone walls and on top of it, a cobblestone slab. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, stone brick blocks. Do that on each corner. And now on each column, right way up, upside down, stone brick step, top and bottom. And add in a bottom half dark oak slab floor. On the front and the sides, run a row of cobblestone blocks. On the back, block and block. Build the sides up to a height of four in total. On the front, one, two, three, four, five, six, join along the top. Two stone bricks in the middle and then make arrow loops with right way up, upside down stone brick stairs. And on the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, join along the top and upside down stone brick stairs. Pop in some torches. Ladders going up, and let's do the next bit. At the top, cobblestone block in each corner with stone bricks in between. And now we finish this off as we did the shorter tower. So dark oak plank floor, cobblestone wall all the way around, stone brick slabs on every second wall starting in a corner, Cobblestone wall spikes in between, torches on top, and a stone brick slab floor. One extended tower. We're going to extend the other one. Let's beef up the gatehouse. For the gatehouse, including the portcullis, 
and the siege equipment you will need. Stone bricks, stone brick stairs, cobblestone walls, stone brick slabs, dark oak slabs, dark oak fence, cobblestone blocks, cobblestone slabs, ladders, iron bars, two campfires, two cauldrons, torches, three levers, redstone dust, spruce trapdoors, spruce logs, oak trapdoors, and if you're playing in creative, splash water bottles. So let's get going. Sticking to let's play as if we're in survival as much as possible. I'm just making steps up to the top of the wall here. Now next to the tower we're going to place an upside down stone brick stair like that and we're going to put three more with a gap in between to make a total of four then a gap and two and then you can start at this end if you want to make sure you're right another four with a gap in between each there we are perfect top all of those with a row of stone brick blocks now back to the end two stone brick blocks we're going to do that three more times with a gap in between each do the same from the other end. Now leave a gap and put one, two, three, four. Now come to one end and right way up, upside down for an arrow loop. Do that till you get to the middle set of four blocks. Then turn round, come to the end and do the same coming back. Should look like that row of stone brick blocks on top. Now come down to this doorway into the tower. We're going to place one, two, three, four ladders above the iron grill and we're going to take out the upside down stone brick stair at the top. Come up to the top of the ladder and we're going to place a bottom half stone brick slab. Now we're going to take out all these stone bricks along here And we're going to replace them with bottom half slabs and put one there. At this end another one, two, three, four ladders. Okay we're going into our tower, go up, directly opposite the wall so where it comes out into the gatehouse. We're going to remove one, two, three and then one, two, three. And we're going to do the same. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, on this doorway, bottom half slab, top half slab, we're going to run top half slabs all the way along to the other side. We'll do the same with this arrangement over there. And we'll also put bottom half slabs on this row of stone brick. Another alternative layout is that if you just feel like you want a little bit more headroom. Pop some torches along the wall for light. So once this walkway is finished, back into your little storage room, out the middle door, bottom half slab, and then you're going to add four more. So one, two, three, four, and two more rows of four next to it. And at the corner here, two iron bars and then from the back two oak trap doors fold them down or up and shift click two ladders onto them to give access to this platform now here knock out the stone brick slab and we're going to put one two three four five six seven upside down stone brick stair, up, oh, I can just reach it, upside down stone brick stair. Do that over there. Now we're going to build up the back wall. So run a row of stone bricks all the way along, top it with a second one, now place a stone brick, 
stair and stair, stone brick, stair and stair and repeat that all the way down. Then add one, two, three to each stone brick column and then add one more at the top, stone brick stair and stone brick stair. So you've made this little keyhole shape. Now top the whole row with stone brick slabs and put one more stone brick slab out on each end. Like that. Jump down being careful to not fall into there. Here put one, two, three, leave a gap of three and put one more at the top. Now bring a row of stone all the way down. Now you need to take out these two slabs and these two torches and walls. That's one stone brick there, one stair, one stair, and as many stone bricks as you can reach up. Let's hop up here, extend this wall up, so it's level with the top and an upside down stone brick stair. That sort of arrangement. Repeat this on this side. Right now we're up here, stone brick slabs. So I cover this section here with them. This is going to be left as a gap. So run stone bricks all the way along. Careful not to fall in here. So we have one, two, three rows and the middle row has got a slot. We're going to add two more rows. And these are complete rows all to the end. Starting at one of the towers on top of this block, a row of stone brick stairs all the way along. Now two rows of bottom half dark oak slabs and take it in under there. And before we go any further, we're going to deal with this section. So stone brick and now a row of bottom half stone brick slabs all the way to there. Stone brick, bottom half stone brick slabs right the way across. Finish off the slabs over here. This comes up one, two more. And now we put a row of bottom half stone brick slabs right the way across the top, but we leave the one at the end empty. You can of course do that if you want a bit of support at the top of those columns. Now come to the end where you left the gap, look down and place one and a stone brick stair. Now do a full row of stone brick slab, and another row where you don't put the ends in. Now take out the wall and torch column that's in line with this row and that gives you access to the tower. Right now jump down carefully onto this wall. We're going to add a row of stone brick blocks and starting next to the tower upside down stone brick stairs, four of them with gaps in between, then a gap in two, and then four more with gaps in between. Put a stone brick block at the end, then run cobbled wall all the way along, and make sure you've got it out over the gap so that you are making machicolations. And if you remember, they're for dropping things down on your enemies or firing down on them from up above. Now do your usuals. Start with a slab. Slab over every upside down stone brick stair and cobble wall on all the remaining bits of cobble wall. Torches on top. Now a bottom half dark oak slab walkway and a stone brick stair. Now I know at the moment there's a gap here, don't worry about it, we'll deal with that in a minute. Come over to the slot 
and place dark oak fences right the way along. Okay, come down into the tower. We're going down into our little storage access room and up on this side. And now we're going to run stone brick blocks right the way along next to that dark oak walkway. Now you've got choices with this next bit. You can do two rows of stone brick blocks all the way along or you can take out every second one and replace them with arrow loops which have no purpose here except to be decorative. Now take out these three Fill that whole slab and bring this pillar down. Now from the ground here to here is 13, so our portcullis also has to be 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So run a row of fence right the way along at that height and fill it all in. Use lots of scaffolding. That's the back portcullis. We've also got to make a front portcullis. On the gates you'll have to remove this row of buttons and this row of buttons. Just on the gate that's shut. If you've got both shut you'll have to do it on both. Uh, that one will have to come off too. Row of fences right along at that height and take them right into this little trough here on both sides. Now bring it up 13. That should put you right up against this walkway here. Fill in the entire thing. There's our portcullises in. Run a line of stone brick up here, same at the other end, and bring it up here as well. If you don't like the way it joins here, just leave this row of brick out, but I just like it because it looks a bit more solid. That's our portcullises in, but there's more to do. Because what happens if someone comes through these gates? We can lower this portcullis, we can trap them, but then what? Then we can have some fun. Let's start with some boiling water. So in line with this first iron grate on this flat piece of the gatehouse, an iron bar, leave a space and put another one. Leave a space and put two more. Dark oak fence in between. Another iron bar on top of those. And then two dark oak fence on top of each. Dark oak fence in between. iron bar coming down, a cauldron under that, and a campfire under each cauldron. And here's a trick, if you want the campfire out, in creative the best way to do it is with a splash water bottle. This one in the middle gets a torch. So we can heat up water or oil or tar and we can tip it down through this grate onto anyone who's down in here. If you want you can take this out and add an extra row of grates. So we can pour boiling water on them and you know tar and oil was used but water was most common because think about it who wants boiling water tipped on them especially at a time when infection is so dangerous. What else can we do? At this post for the boiling water, come back one, two, and knock out one, two, three, four. 
leave a space of two blocks, knock out another four, leave another space of two blocks and knock out four more. And now we're going to put spruce trapdoors because we can rig these spruce trapdoors so that we can drop logs and rocks onto anyone who gets trapped down there. So we'll start with this one. Two redstone, two redstone, two more, and a lever. Voila! Let's do the same at this end. And this one gets a lever here and redstone here. And we might pile up some logs here just to be ready. Pop in some torches for extra light. And there's one last thing that we can do to make life difficult for anyone trapped down here. Do you remember these arrow loops we made? Come around to the back and one, two, three top half slabs. Two dark oak stairs. And we're going to put one, two, three, four, five ladders. And one, two, three bottom half slabs. Torches in place. Repeat the same on the other side. So we lower the portcullis, we can drop all sorts of nasty things down on them and our archers can fire on them as well. Oh, and one last thing. Directly under the portcullises, replace your ground block with dispensers pointing up. These are the holes that the portcullis spikes can drop into, locking them in place. Do the same at the front. Now the ground is cobble, andesite and stone and I have lit this area in the gateway with a drain. So I'll show you what it is. I've dug a hole two blocks deep, I've put some water and four seed pickles in because that gives a light of 15 and an iron grate over the top. And that is our full gatehouse with tall defensive towers and tall walls and all sorts of lovely presents for any attacking enemies. If you're looking for walls to go with this, what about these? Click on the end screen or follow the link in the description for my large wall tutorial.